Welcome to Ogle's Channel. Thanks for watching today. Now today we have a special unboxing. We have an unboxing of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, I know they're not the original ones from the mid-80s, but these are the original looking figures that have been recently reissued by Walmart. And um, I know a lot of people are having trouble finding these in their stores. I just happened to walk into the Walmart and bam, all four were at the exact same Walmart. So I got sort of lucky on that. But um, we're actually going to do an unboxing today because... My, my goal is not to keep them in the boxes. I want to get them out, you know, see what they look like, see how the quality of the action figures, of course, evaluate them for you guys to sort of know as well in case you don't want to unbox them. So we're going to take them one by one, sort of explain um, some of my history of the original figures when I first got them and things like that. But um, we'll take them one by one and we'll just sort of see what they look like. All right. The first one we have here is actually the first one I got when I was a kid. And this is Michelangelo. Now, first off, when you look at it, the box art is exactly the same as it was when I was a kid. The uh, the choking hazard might not have been on there, but everything else, like this is the box art from when I was a kid. The back's a little bit different. Obviously, Nickelodeon is different because this wasn't a Nickelodeon show when I was a kid. But the, uh, the little storyline up here about how they became the Ninja Turtles or Mutant Turtles, uh, you can see right there, that's exactly the same. And I've always loved the animation because that's, um, that's more of how I drew the Ninja Turtles as a kid rather than the, um, of course, the actual cartoon. My drawing skills weren't the best. And of course, the back is mostly the same. Uh, over here, of course, we have the uh, portrait of Michelangelo. I actually think it's funny they say um, portrait. Makes it sound more like the um, Renaissance artist. And of course, you can see here it came, huh, I didn't know it had the uh, the birthplace on here. Uh, Woody's Pet Shop, uh, <laughs> Pennsylvania. Uh, that's possible, that was, I mean, I'm sure it was on there when I was a kid. I may have just never noticed a pun when I was a kid. But uh, let's dive in and see what this toy has in store for us. All right, minus my poor uh, cutting skills there. That's actually pretty close to how my dad uh, opened the figures when we were kids. He'd always use his knife. That way we can preserve the um, the box itself. And so, all right, so well, we have, of course, the um, the weapon crate over here. It's tied in, and that might have been tied in like that when I was a kid. That is something that I don't, I don't remember because I got this one when I was four years old. All right, so there is Michelangelo in his uh, in his truest form here, and uh, I had heard somebody mention online these were the um, rubber heads, but these are no, these are regular old uh, plastic heads here, just like um, I guess the second wave. And I mean, it's honestly pretty pretty darn good here. The paint job, it looks like at least the ones that I got are pretty accurate. What days it have on the shell there? Um, let's see. Let me just move over here so I can see it easier. All right, it looks like it has 2013 on the shelf, so that's sort of weird. Um, I'm not sure which uh, reissue these are, I guess, of the 2013 ones. But I mean, Michelangelo looking looking pretty darn pretty darn good there. So um, Michelangelo, like I said, was the first one I got when I was a kid, and um, he actually had the rubber head when I got it as a child. I got him and Leonardo on the exact same day because those were my two favorite turtles as a kid. But let's get his weapons on him and we'll see how he looks. All right, so the weapons were a lot harder to get out than I had initially anticipated, but it fits well into the back there. I will say the uh, the hand's a little loose on this one. It just sort of um, pops out, so I'm not sure if that's a a mold difference in the originals and the uh, in the new ones. Uh, possible mistake. I don't. I'm not real sure. But otherwise, besides the hand being a little bit loose, Michelangelo, uh, I'd say it's a fantastic rendition of the figure. But let's move on to Leonardo. All right, so there's Leonardo. Once again, the box art is identical on the front there. And uh, let's take a look at the back. Of course, we got the exact same storyline, but we got a different portrait down here for portrait of Leonardo. Uh, McMahon's Pet Emporio. See, what, once again, like, obviously I knew the, uh, uh, you know, the weapons and such as that, but uh, I, had, I had no idea of a different birthplace for all the turtles. So that's sort of fascinating to me. But let's go and get uh, Leonardo opened here and see if the same craftsmanship Holds up for Leonardo. All 
All right, let's get him open here and see how he looks. Push that off to the side. Looking pretty darn good, but let's get him out of the plastic. All right, we're taking a look at Leonardo now. Once again, the heads are like, they're almost like the rubber heads, but they're not. They're not as hard as some of the ones I remember, but they're definitely not the rubber heads that um, I had as a kid. So I'm not sure if the heads are made of something different because it's a little squishy, but it's definitely not the um, full rubber head I had as a kid, at least for the uh, Michelangelo. The head seems a little bit loose on Leonardo, and it's not just because I was squishing around with it while, <laughs> just a second ago, but it does seem a little bit loose there. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, if we look, if you look at the details, the head is almost like it's off a little bit. I don't believe that's the case with Michelangelo, was it? Um, I mean, it's a similar look, but definitely a, a better feel for Michelangelo than Leonardo. Um, as we look at, obviously, the paint here, top notch on the paint, at least on the ones that I've bought. Um, we can see all the way. Nice little belt here. Got the little marks on the turtle shell. I mean, perfect. Paint job, honestly, fantastic. But let's get the weapons out. Let's see how the weapons look with Leonardo. All right, so we have Leonardo with his katanas now as well. And honestly, the hand placement for these is way better than it was with Michelangelo. They are no, they're not loose. We're just going to fall out like it was with Michelangelo. Leonardo, honestly, um, a great little figure here. Uh, like I said, the head's a little loose, but outside of that, Leonardo is in fantastic shape. And honestly, just a... Uh, a great rendition or a great uh, remodeling of the original figure and honestly i couldn't be happy with more happy with the way leonardo looks here so let's move on to raphael all right next we have raphael and you're probably looking at it saying to yourself well where is he he was in the box a while ago well that's because i forgot to hit record on the camera before i cut him out but let's go and take a look at the box here itself of course we have all of the artwork looks just like it did in the 80s which is what I love so much about that. And of course, on the back, we have the same little storyline, but then down here, we have a different little bit of a portrait. And of course, his birthplace, like I was talking earlier, is Shelley's Pet City, New Hampshire. I mean, it's just fun to see these jokes I missed out on as a kid. And so, but let's take a look at Raphael himself, since I've already taken him out of the box here. And so, here we go. Now, with Raphael, he's a little bit different. Um, as far as growing up as a kid, I never actually had Raphael. My brother had Raphael, and it was sort of one of those things of we were collecting them together, so there was no reason for us both to have the exact same turtle. And so this is the first time I've ever, ever actually got to own uh, Raphael for myself. I will say the plastic on this one is way, way squishier in the hands. Um, once again, the head is not a rubber head, but a little bit softer shells or softer materials than I remember as a kid. Um, overall, I mean, the paint job is Seems to be on, on target with this one. It might be a little lighter than I remember, but that could just be a difference in memory. But man, these arms are way, way more pliable or pliable than I remember as a kid. Even look at that, it's like it's coming off a little bit, honestly. The quality on these, uh, I don't know. I think it's taking a back seat to what the originals were, unless my memory is just simply flawed of what the originals were. But let's get his weapons in him and see how he looks with the weapons. All right, there we got his size with him. Honestly, Raphael's looking pretty darn good here. Um, overall, I mean, eh, is that bent in a little bit as well? But that can, what's going on there? That is also bent in a little bit, but that's not a big deal because that would puff out if he put some of the other weapons back there. But um, honestly, Raphael, I mean, he looks, he looks pretty good. Like I said, the, uh, the paint job on him, like the rest of them, is pretty darn close to the original. He might be a, a little bit a little bit different of a color, but not much. He was always a, um, a a lighter green than the rest of them anyway. But like I said, the heads is probably the thing that's throwing me most off because it's just not. It's like an in between material of the originals and the old ones, but definitely a flaw with the um, arm over here. So I don't know. I'm gonna I'll probably rank them at the end on which one's the best uh, craftsmanship. But uh, Raphael definitely has some uh, flaws, but overall pretty darn good looking turtle. But let's move on to Donatello. And before we move on to Donatello, I just want to point out that Raphael here does not set, stand up hardly at all. I'm not sure if it's a mess up in the mold in the legs. I end up having to put him on his little uh, weapon rack there and uh, put the feet like in the little holes, which is obviously not how he's supposed to have to stand up. They should be able to stand up just like Michelangelo and Leonardo over here. 
But uh, Raphael is having a nearly impossible time standing up on his own, so he's gonna have to have that a little bit of uh, assistance as it goes. Possibly another um, difference between the new ones and the original. Uh, these two was a little bit hard to get to stand up. I think it's just simply getting the positioning right for Raphael, uh, nearly impossible. But let's move on to Donatello. All right, now we got Donatello here, and honestly, I had him as a kid, but I have almost no memory of when I would have gotten Donatello. I just remember having him as a kid. And so once again, all the same, but the portrait down here, um, so he's from uh, Slow, Oklahoma, uh, obviously because turtles are slow, uh, like I need to explain it. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and get uh, Donatello opened up and see if he matches the rest of them or if he's a little bit better quality than the rest of them as we go. All right, so we got Donatello here, and first off, I'm gonna go ahead and point this out, and I don't think it's just the lighting. The uh, the head uh, definitely appears to be a bit of a different different color here, and once again, sort of that in between material is not as loose as some of the others, but I mean that is definitely a um, a different color. I think the arms part of the arms might be a different color as well. Donatello is just sort of um, <laughs> a little mismatched on here, and once again, he's got that same arm thing going on that. Uh, Raphael had very loose. Uh, this arm's a little bit better. Still pretty loose. Legs seem pretty good. Paint job on Donatello though, because <laughs> that head, I'm gonna say Donatello is probably the um, the worst of the paint jobs as we got so far. But um, let's take a look at Donatello's weapons and we'll go from there. All right, so we got Donatello's weapon here and honestly, it fits in the hands pretty much perfectly. And so, honestly, Michelangelo is the only one that had a flaw with the weapons in the hands. Uh, I didn't put the one in the back there, but I'm sure it would fit just fine in that. I didn't show any of the weapons uh, crates or the weapon uh, racks as I was taking them off, because truth be told, these are a lot harder to uh, take off than I ever remember being as a kid. And so, uh, sadly, it took me too long to take them off on camera, so I just left that part uh, off the camera. But uh, Donatello, uh, honestly... This is the one I'm probably most disappointed with because that the head is just, it's just throwing me off. I mean, the head just looks like a, a different color to me. Um, and I think that's just sort of weird to do it that way. Let's see if uh, Donatello sets up better than the others. Um, let's see here. All right, Donatello appears to be setting up a heck of a lot better uh, than Raphael and pretty much on par with the other two turtles when it comes to that. Overall, the figures aren't quite as good as I remember being as kids. The plastic definitely seems to be different. I'm not really sure what direction they went in with the plastic molds on this, but they definitely seem to be a different uh, type of plastic on that. Uh, and some of the paint jobs are sort of hit and miss. Two of them are fantastic, and the other two are not quite as good, especially Donatello with the, uh, the head being a different color. But honestly, it was fun to take the trip down memory lane, to open these figures back up after not having opened up a Ninja Turtle figure and like, 25 or I guess it's been 30 years since I've opened up the original ones here and so to go back down that memory lane honestly that was pretty cool but whether you buy them for uh, collector's purposes or to display them like this or you know display them still in the boxes I mean it's a pretty cool little item to come across and to pick up so if you come across them at Walmart I, I'd probably recommend picking them up just simply because you know it's fun to go down that memory lane as well i'll probably display them at either my work or for the channel here but if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed you know video game content or some turtle content be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and as always go out there find a great game to play and just simply have a great rest of the day